Good morning, everybody. Our next speaker is Ishvan Curran to talk to us about Requirements Bazaar. Please give a big hand to Ishvan. <clears throat> so, hello and uh, good morning. Welcome to this talk about Requirements Bazaar, a software that we have been developing for five years now. The title is Connecting End Users and Developers. So, my name is Ishvan Curran and I traveled here one hour from AWTH Aachen University in Germany. My Twitter handle is Istin here. Um, you can use the hashtag if you want to take a pic, that would be cool. And um, our organization on GitHub where you find all the code is here. And this is the URL of our tool. So we're a, a research institute and uh, we, in computer science, and we develop a lot of software in, in big projects. And um, we are rolling out to a lot of users, and we always have the issue of um, getting the feedback from the users. And I think that's quite a common problem, and this is how we, how we tackle it. So, um, well, usual idea is just uh, let the users send emails or just make a forum, a discussion forum, but that doesn't really scale. So what people um, in the open source world do is um, things like that, so issue trackers. For example, this is a screenshot um, from um, Bugzilla, but, um, well, it's not really end user friendly, so th there are things like refactor string bundle JS, so they are really confused. Um, this is uh, for the Android um, project, but also we tried uh, sending people to GitHub issues, but then, um, people, they saw the, the files and the code and they were turned off and uh, just closed that. We also tried uh, sending them to JIRA uh, with this form, but they were overwhelmed by the number of um, fields you have to fill in here. So what people obviously like is when you look at the app stores from um, iTunes Store or um, Play Store, is app store comments. So this is, um, for example, from, taken from Facebook, and people complain about the software here because they like, it's just a single, single text field and you just enter the, 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 the box there. And uh, yeah, but for developers, it's really hard to, to click through all the um, comments. So um, yeah, what we want to achieve here is in the, the pipeline from continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, what um, a lot of us already do is another continuous, which is continuous innovation. So we want to listen to the users and allow them to contribute, to send their ideas, because we notice that those ideas are often the best. So we came up with requirements, Bazaar. You can uh, find it under this uh, URL, requirementsbazaar.org. And uh, yeah, it's a web-based tool, online tool for um, continuous innovation. So the key ideas here are connecting the end users the, with the developers, designers, but also researchers and um, other stakeholders in, involved in the development. And you want to allow them to discuss, um, to post new ideas, to send comments, to prioritize, to vote, to like, just, just like on Facebook and also share, share ideas to, to other social networks. Another key aspect is making clear what the developers are working on, so the users, that they get notifications if uh, their idea was taken up and is currently being um, developed and then rolled out. Integrate in on any context, that means um, whether we are on a, on a mobile app or we are on a, a desktop app, we're, we're on a web application, whether we are in the tram or sitting here, and we want to enable, to make it very easy to, to submit new ideas. And finally, the export options to both directions. One is to social networks for end users to discuss further, and the other direction is to issue trackers. So things where developers can, can, can work on and discuss the technical details like GitHub issues or Jira. The, before I show you an example, um, these are the details uh, that you're going to see. It's a progressive web app. Um, it's responsive. It's mobile first uh, developed. It installs on home screen. 
So uh, when you visit it a couple of times, your Chrome browser actually asks you on Android whether you want to install it, and then it feels like a native app, which is really cool. It's developed using Polymer web components. And the backend is based on uh, Java and microservice architecture. We're using OpenID Connect, uh, so we have our own provider um, there, but we plan to integrate Google or other big um, providers as well. Um, it's hosted on GitHub, and we use Jira for issue management. And finally, um, Jenkins for continuous integration, also the continuous deployment on our build um, and production environments. And now let's show you um, the software. Well, so this is it. It's uh, requirementsbazaar.org. It's uh, actually... Um, Localized, so here are the, some languages of our, of our research group. Um, so you can switch over to German very fast. Um, the responsiveness uh, that I talked about, so this is it. All right, so this is the, the main page. Uh, we have some... Um, a lot of test projects, uh, obviously, and some popular projects. Then you can click to explore the public projects. So it's, um, you can see everything when you're um, not logged in. So here um, is the list of projects, or the most popular. So last to peer is a Java framework that we develop in-house. Um, we also noticed people from outside of us that we didn't know started using it. For example, in Afghanistan, 60 people are using it um, for building their IT stacks. It's cool. Our own project. And uh, let's click here. So then you see the categories. For example, the front end or the back end. And I'm just switching over to the front end. And basically, this is, uh, this is um, the main interface. So it's a card-based layout, if you know uh, material design. And let me sign in here. So that is our OpenID Connect uh, provider. Yeah, and now I'm logged in. And if I want to add something, for example, I noticed yesterday that uh, the st statistics on the main page are not yet localized, so um, stats are not available in my language. Bad. And I can save it, and it will just appear here. And um, then I can star it, I can follow it to get emails. We have a nice activity tracker, so you um, see what is going on. So some of Somebody of you here or outside in the internet have already followed the project. Cool. Thanks. Yes. Um, so that's um, basically the, the web app. And I also want to talk a bit about the future ideas. Right, so um, what we also have is we have web, because it's web components based, it's very easy to actually export it to other websites. So we have, um, for example, for a project that's doing augmented reality learning, we have the content, the tiles on their homepage integrated so that people don't notice that it's actually hosted in Requirements Bazaar. It's pretty cool, it's a um, one line um, integration in, in WordPress. We have uh, work going on to gamify it, so you get badges and points and all that. We want to add design tools so you can upload screenshots, which you can already do, but also mark and annotate um, that. And uh, a very important thing that uh, we want to um, do is also embrace new communities outside of software development. So if we go back, you find... Um, uh, a project, uh, a, a category here for the requirements bazaar, which is target communities. So um, things like uh, refugee aid, where people come to Germany or other countries and they want something, and they just type it in here. 
or neighborhood assistance clubs and associations, a soccer club and so on. So we think that, uh, we hope that this idea could also help them or other, other fields so that they, they learn actually from how software developers work efficiently. One part of that is um, the localization, so I already showed you. And I have here a goodie. So we already, uh, in, in the development branch, we translated it to Farsi. So it's, um, it's partly, so there are some, some issues here. That's why it's not released yet. But very soon, uh, it will be available also for uh, in the native language of the Afghanistan community. All right, so that was it. Um, so if you have questions yes. here, and I will be also available outside if uh, you want to talk with me afterwards. Thank you very much, Isfan. Big hand, please. <laughs> so I see a question uh, back there. Hi, uh, good product. Um, is there um, uh, uh, management for duplicates? No, not yet, but um, we're working on so social network analysis uh, tools to automatically um, get that. Also, something uh, we want to add very soon is uh, tags. So based on tag beha tagging behavior, we, we could already well fi filter out some of the duplicates. Any other questions? Don't be shy. Hi. Can we add attachment drawings? Just to explain a little bit more uh, uh, some idea. Yes. Yes. It's, uh, you can add attachments, yeah. So any more questions? Another one over there. Oh, right. <laughs> So the export-import that you mentioned, is it a kind of Excel export or a, an API that they can connect? Well, it's, it's all a REST API. So today already you can ask um, um, the REST API. We have Excel export already, so see it's common separate values. Um, and the GitHub issues uh, export is uh, also already there on, on the uh, development environment. So if there's uh, no more questions, then I suggest we wrap up. Big hand for Ishvan. Thank you.